This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California, still stand and praise God in Jesus' strength and power and authority. It's uh, 08.13 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on 10.17.17, so I want to I wanna break some things out uh, and reveal them to you. <laughs> okay. So I had a vision, if, and people remember it's everything I'm going to talk about is, is logged and recorded on this YouTube channel here, of a spinning nine and a spinning seven, and one was flaming, and the Lord had led me to look up a U.S. Navy ship number 97, and I did, and it was the USS Halsey. I've also <coughs> been shown uh, Theodore Roosevelt over and over and over again. Again, yesterday I saw it. So the USS Halsey, ship number 97, a nuclear, I believe it's a nuclear guided uh, missile destroyer. You remember that some of the, the thing, uh, some of the footage from the TV show, The Last Ship, was filmed on this. And it, they showed it going through the Strait of uh, Gibraltar taking missile fire from the rocks. This is the ship that was filmed on. It really is a guided missile destroyer, and it really is number 97. And it has just departed to join the Theodore Roosevelt, uh, along with the helicopter detachment, Helicopter Maritime Squadron HM, HSM 37. So we have the 97 and the 37 right here. Both numbers God showed me, both amazingly. I'm telling you, God showed me these numbers to come to pass. I'm asking people, please, man, pray over this. And, and I need your prayers, too. If you're praying to Jesus, amen. So it's joining the, the Roosevelt. And I believe it's heading out to the theater of war. Let's see right here. The USS Theodore Roosevelt. And they're heading out. After a year of training, the entire team is ready as a war fighting force and ready to carry out the nation's tasking. And I believe it left last week, somewhere along then. Um, let me show you some other stuff. Yesterday, while looking up the word Philippe, Philip, um, tropical storm forming now i haven't checked any updates on that to see if it hits hurricane status but i know whether it does or doesn't this is a this is a prophecy fulfilled that they, they would reach the letter p so i look up uh i look up philip and now this is new york this is a manhattan area i believe this is a this is a continuing the lord showed me this this is a pattern this is a pattern he's shown me for five years now on youtube all, he give me all of these prophecies, and, and then they will all come to pass, 100% accuracy. And then he'll show me New York again. And then he'll give me more prophecies, and all of them will come to pass. And then he'll show me New York again. So now he showed me this Philippe, and, uh, and, and, and then he's taking me back to New York. And so I believe that at the event three, I'll, I'll be bold and prophesy. Event three, because we had one... Harvey, Texas, two NorCal fires, event three, New York. Now I'm going to zoom out. All I did was put in the word Philip here, and it's in New York, New York. All I'm going to do is zoom out, and you're going to see once again Central Park. I've talked about Central Park for five years on here, and I'm going to show you exactly what the Holy Spirit showed me. Here is Roosevelt. Here is Roosevelt. So there's the Roosevelt. I'm talking about the ship name and now the the storm name. And then the Holy Spirit. Here's Hell's Kitchen. Look, Theater District. Theater of War. I've shown this same exact map for five years now. And finally, the Holy Spirit, he led me into a deeper revelation. He brought me over here. And what I realized was this bridge... This bridge right here, it goes, this is New, this is New Jersey on this side. So, so this is New Jersey, and this is New York. 
And what he showed me, and then this is Manhattan, what the Holy Spirit showed me was a bridge from New Jersey to New York. And what the Holy Spirit showed me just yesterday, 10, 16, 17, was that this bridge coming in from New Jersey would bring calamity. And this bridge would be used by whoever's going to perpetrate this to access and implement event three. Continuing. There has been a large explosion in Turkey on a bus and people have perished. 20 minutes ago, it's a car bomb. A car bomb hits bus carrying police officers. So clearly this was targeted in the southern province of Mersin. Number of casualties reported. I'm going to show you that explosion was prophesied and the timing of it all. How, how amazing this timing is. Also, we were just talking about Canada and Washington, and an earthquake did come in, in Washington. And this is, this is not the earthquake. God is just showing you the timing. Okay, so earthquake of Washington is almost a 3.7. I'll look it up on the USGS. And um, now remember three things here. The Las Vegas shooting, where the guy, or I believe multiple shooters shooting out windows and on the ground and all that. Remember that? Remember that turkey explosion? And remember this earthquake area, this west coast here. Let me look it up on USGS real quick. I haven't been using USGS anymore. I just... Goldendale, they're calling this Goldendale, Washington as a three. Uh, they just like to lower the numbers. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm going to be on earthquake, earthquake watch. Okay, now, this is important. You see these windows shot out during the Las Vegas shooting, two windows at the Mandalay Bay Casino, and suddenly the security guard's still missing and all that strangeness involved in that. I want to thank this brother right here, Bizerch. He said, you mentioned a guy shooting out a window at people. Must have been the Las Vegas shooting and just this morning. I said, I did. Because I can't remember everything. You know, that's why I have to journal it. And my journal is almost 100 pages now. And I'm going to show you. Remember the key things I told you to remember? I saw a large explosion and heard the flames consume them. And then it took place in an area of idolatry. And it was showing me all dark idolatry in 1 Corinthians 8. And... Uh, and the spiritual gifts are activated and anointed. And Las Vegas is a main major area of idolatry. Now watch this. I saw windows of a building blown out. I heard Turkey shall fight, Israel shall defend. I saw a huge golden number 12 turn into a shield and fly away. I believe that what that represents is and I got revelation on this this morning to release is that the restrainer stopping restraining this this big shield with the golden number 12 on it uh, flying away is the church the Philadelphia church I just preached on last Saturday leaving and the Holy Spirit stopping restraining I saw the Denver Broncos emblem and it appeared to be injured God is talking about it's the timing of it of all. The, let me get the date on this. Look at what the NFL is doing right now. Can everybody see that right now? I saw the Denver Broncos emblem and it appeared to be injured. This was in June 17, 2016. And look at the NFL now. Uh, but what I want to tell you is, is that Denver, I'm also putting out a caution alert for Denver in obedience in this time. I saw a long tube being loaded with some type of weapon, like an RPG or a missile, and I saw a man behind curtains or blinds looking out with a weapon, and he was shooting out. I'm going to play this from the summer of last year. And, uh, it was in a, a large area, Just gonna... and uh, people had perished, and I heard this, the flames 
consumed them. That's the explosion, okay. And I asked the Lord for more specific information so I could warn the people so they could be ready and repent and be right with God and, and uh, have Psalm 91 protection if he willed it. And he said it took place in an area of idolatry. And I saw 1 Corinthians 8 speaks on idolatry. I will put all the scriptures at the end. I will show them and put links in the description box. And then I heard this in, in heavy, intense uh, prayer. I heard spiritual gifts are activated and anointed. And these spiritual gifts are listed in 1 Corinthians 12. There's nine specific ones, and you are to be using them. It, this is not uh, a waiting on God anymore for this thing in your prayers. God is saying that your spiritual gifts are activated and anointed and you're to use them in these end times. Fulfilled. Because we're running out of time. That's fulfilled. I'll put a link to that in scripture also. Now I saw windows of a building blown out. This was a large building and its windows were blown out. Let, let's say let's listen to the description because I have great revelation on this and I want to thank Desserts there. Because I hadn't even noticed this. So this was the summer of last year. I said it's a large building and then I describe it as either a home or a business you see a home or a business and I said it's not clear because it was it, it was a hotel room which is kind of like a business room and a home room you... I actually saw the soot and smoke on the on the glass as it blew up you know, this, is, this has been a heavy burden for me to release this message, and I know that after, and I, and I know this is going to be the same for many of us, after we release this information and pray over this information, we're going to see, receive a release of a heavy burden that we're going to cast it on Jesus. And the heavy burden that has been on me and other people that are praying in this is going to be uh, removed today. And I thank God for that. Thank you, Jesus. I heard these words exactly verbatim Turkey shall fight Israel shall defend and I saw Hebrews 13 4 which also speaks on idolatry I saw a huge golden number 12 now I want you to picture this because uh, I need comments and prayer over all of this but this particular thing I saw this huge golden number 12 and then it turned into a shield, like the shield of faith kind of, like the, the armor of God, and it just flew away. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that this is talking about the church, but I ask for your prayer on that and comments. I don't know why the number 12, I just share what I'm seeing freely. We receive freely, we give, amen and amen. I saw the Denver's Broncos emblem and it appeared to be injured on the right side. I'll, I'll show you this in uh, 10, 10, 10, 1, 1, 1. So here's their emblem. And, and, you know, as soon as I saw this flaming blue one, I thought of that. What's it called? A blucifer? I, I That's the Denver's uh, airport where they have that uh, blue horse lit up. Uh, Brother James and I went there. And we rebuked those murals, and security was kind of trying to get in our way of taking pictures of the Denver murals. So I, I said all that to say this. I want to tell you why I have this extreme burden and caution and check in my spirit as to why I was shown all these things, and, and, and they're coming to pass. I want to get to that. So in regards to... This uh, Vegas shooting that is just doesn't make sense, you know. Just the facts don't add up. God showed me this in advance. He has shown me over a period of years that what he's revealing to me is false flags perpetrated, perpetrated by evil men. Over and over. Right here online, praise God. Now, I, this was very, very detailed. In an open vision, I saw every single bit of this. I could not see people, but I saw a weapon. It was a, a long tube, tube. I want to say like an RPG. I've never seen the inside of a, 
rocket propelled grenade launcher RPG, but that's what it kind of looked to. It was either that or it was a missile that was being loaded up to fire. You know, we're only getting these things apart. We're not getting the full revelation. But it was a long tomb. It was being loaded with some type of weapon like an uh, like a RPG or a missile. And then, and this is in a, a, a second vision. I was in there for a while praying today. A while. I saw a man behind curtains. Clear as day, I saw a man hiding behind curtains. It appeared to be some type of house, uh, a house or, or business, and uh, or blinds. And he was looking out with a weapon, and he was just shooting out at people. He was just that that shooting out at anybody that approached. That is the Las Vegas false flag, and God used someone else to bring this to my attention as a witness just today, and God told me, that, look. This is what you need to warn my people today. This is all coming to pass. This has come to pass. And he said, Paul, look what's next and warn my people. I saw military jets scrambling into the air. And I heard all things carnal must come to an end. But the spirit lives forever unto me or unto the enemy. <clears throat> and then I asked Jesus to show me where these would attacks would happen and he said perhaps I have already shown you and he had it's the seven areas that I traveled in the Jesus matters and and continually pointing to the war with Israel and wars and rumors of wars look if you're not right with Jesus Christ and you've stumbled upon this video I'm telling you man Please get right with him. He is calling you right now. Just say, Jesus, help me. I promise you, he will show up. I want to end this by going to these comments here and show people just this morning a video. How, how, how so many other people are being shown similar things. We have a... Uh, and uh, I apologize if I miss anybody. Brother Al from our home church, he had a dream about destruction coming to the Seattle, Washington area. And then uh, Sister C, I'll call her, from Sacramento here, locally where I live, also posted a dream about Seattle areas. Now, continuing down these comments, I just want to get these in the feed. That these people, oh, Sister Ginger right here, her, uh, God spoke to, uh, destruction, uh, to her mom, and he said, I'm coming very, very soon. Somerset, Florida, these people, you know, the, when I heard the word sunset, here's another dream I'm putting the feed. Just showing you all of these. Someone else woke up at 4.30, uh, Sister Lisa in California here at 5.30 at the same time I did. All of these, uh, this sister right here, it's not just me. The, 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 here's another dream. It's not just me. You understand? It's the entire world coming forth declaring these things as witnesses. We need to look up and prepare to go home, saints. I mean, how much more what must we need to see? North Carolina over here came to pass. This is actually an area I visited in Charlotte. I could go on. I could tell you. I can't keep track of everything unless I journal them. So I need your help. Think, But I, I spent a lot of time yesterday researching past prophecies. And I know that there are at least a dozen that have come to pass. That I prophesied. Because God does not lie. And he's warning before the return of Jesus. He's warning before the return of Jesus. He's sending angels into people's rooms. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. And if you don't know him, you'll be left behind. I don't know what else to say. Just be safe.
and be saved.